everyone, it's Stephanie with Packberry Farm, and today we're going to be discussing winding skeins and the tools we use for them. Typically, when we get fiber from the mill, uh, we get it like this. Okay, it's already skeined. Here is the issue though, um, you can't knit directly like this. So in the past, what people used to do frequently was find an unsuspecting um, child or spouse and they'd have them sit there and literally hold the skein while they tried to wind them into a ball, okay? Now, there are some really cool tools you can access and these are tools I've had for years. This is called uh, a Swift, okay? It's a wooden umbrella Swift. You can find them online for about $25 to $30. Um, they're, you know, kind of on the lower end price-wise. You can also find metal ones online, and I'll link this one below. What happens, though, with this is over time, because I've used it so much, was I've stripped out the wooden screw on it, and it doesn't really hold up anymore. I have a tough time getting it to hold it up as I'm using it. And the problem is while I'm working, it drops the skein, and then I have a mess on the ground, which is not useful when you're just trying to do a quick winding. This is a great tool though, and I would say for a beginner, if you're looking for you know, something in the under $30 range, this is a great tool to have. Um, and again, I'll link this below for you if you're interested in this. Um, and it just, it screws right to the table and it holds that skein of yarn. The other issue I have is our skeins tend to be a little bigger sometimes than some of the ones we get from the stores. And it seems to have trouble holding it up. It just doesn't get big enough. This is my winder. Um, what it does is as I spin it in circles, it feeds the yarn and wraps it into like a little cake, which makes it easier to knit from. So today what we've done is I've actually upgraded my Swift. Um, so we're gonna unbox that in a minute. Okay, so this is my new Swift. I have not yet opened it. Um, I got it from Amazon. I think I ordered it on a Friday afternoon. It was here by Tuesday. So it came pretty quickly. Okay, so here is our new Swift. I'm gonna go ahead and, and open it. Here is, this is called a Stanwood Needlecraft Tabletop Amish Style Wooden Yarn Swift. And it goes from two and a half to six feet. Um, so this will be an upgrade for, for me because my last yarn swift, as I mentioned earlier, has really not been able to hold some of the skeins from our farm. Because we get some nice big skeins. Again, this is the Star, Starwood Needlecraft Tabletop Amish Style Wooden Yarn Swift. And again, I'll link this below. saying how this was a much needed upgrade. One was from a, a guy who was always holding the yarn for his wife and he said he thought this was a great Christmas gift because you know, both of them now uh, have a little more freedom to, wind, to not wind and wind skeins. I guess he's always holding yarn for his wife when she needs it skeined. So, it feels really nice out of the box. Um, it's very smooth. I don't feel like I'm going to get any splinters or anything. I mean, this is really, it's been sanded down quite nicely. Okay, so the directions were included. This is a five-step process 
for how to use your Amish style yarn swift five step process on how to put it together. Step one is make sure you have all the parts. So you should have the two big yarn pieces, yarn holding bars, two pieces of the base, four long pegs, one, two, three, four, and one short peg. Step two, put the two pieces of the base together and insert the short peg into the hole in the center of the base. So I'm going to take this, put it together, put that in the top. That's pretty simple. Step three, put the two pieces of yarn holding bars together and slide it into the short peg on top of the base. So I'm going to take one of these, the other one, put it on top. Slide into the short peg on top of the base. Insert the long pegs into the holes of the yarn holding bars. So I'm going to go ahead and just throw these in the 12 inch area. All right. And it says step four, untwist the skein. So this is a twisted skein. So it becomes an open circle. Gently loop the yarn around the four pegs. Adjust the pegs so that the skein fits tightly around them. So I'm going to take my skein. Yeah, this is great. Great. And then step five, I'll identify the end of the yarn that points to the outside of the skein, pulling the outside and won't, and won't tangle the yarn. You may knit straight from the swift or wind the yarn into a center pull ball using our ball winder, which is sold separately. I already have one, which I showed you before. And we're gonna go ahead and show you how to do this next. Okay, so what I'm going to do here next is I'm going to go around and look for the pieces of yarn that have been wrapped around. The mill does this to hold the skein together, so they might do it in more than one spot. And I'm going to look for the outside piece. And I'm just going through and cutting them out, and they're just twisted around. Okay. All right, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my ball winder. I'm going to clamp it down on the table. I'm gonna go ahead and clamp this down on the table here. Make sure my yarn goes through the feeder here and then it's hooked into here. This it's is in here. Um, it has an arrow pointing clockwise and it says fasten and then it goes the other points the other way counterclockwise and says loose and all I'm just gonna do is I'm just gonna start turning this I'm not gonna go you know 100 miles per hour and I'm gonna keep an eye on my swift to make sure nothing's getting tangled and normally I'd actually use my other hand to feed the outside of it all right so I'm just going to go and wind this And I'm actually really happy with this Swift right now. It has not moved one time to make me think that it's not strong or that it was going to tip over. It's holding the skein really well, better than my umbrella one. And that one was about, I think it was about $40 or so on Amazon. So about $10 to $15 more than the other one. But honestly, it's worth it because I don't have to worry about my skein falling off. It's really holding the skein well. And there were multiple holes on it to hold smaller skeins, so I really know I'm going to get a lot of use out of it because it will hold everything from, it looks like, mini skeins to the larger skeins. And you can see the cake is, is being made. This is going to be a nice big skein. Our mill really does a beautiful job with our yarn. I really appreciate the effort and care she puts into it.
And this blend here is an 80% our alpacas, white alpacas, with 20% merino wool provided by the mill. Um, that 20% from the mill helps give alpaca some shape because alpaca by itself is incredibly drapey. Okay, you're gonna see it's gonna come off in a minute. Okay, so I wound this whole skein with you present. Um, I didn't turn off the camera or anything here. So I'm just gonna make sure that it's fully wound. You can see it's nice and, and soft and big. And the key with this is, is sometimes when people hand wind, they actually pull really hard on the skein, which ends up kind of stretching the fibers. And you don't wanna be pulling really hard. You don't wanna ruin the integrity of your fiber. And you can see here, it's a nice big cake. And when I go to knit, I'm just gonna pull this center piece to knit with, okay? And then that way it'll hold its shape until the end. All right, so today we went over how to take a skein of yarn, okay, and turn it into a cape. This took me about a minute to put together. It did not take long, the steps were easy. I'm really happy. I would give this full, full five out of five stars. It didn't move once, it didn't look like it was going to tip. Um, I didn't have to ask my husband to hold yarn for me. It went really, it went really quickly. So with these two tools, this took a minute together, these two tools, I think it took two minutes to wind this beautiful skein. Um, it's not wound too tight. It has great loft to it still. Uh, I honestly, again, five out of five stars. I'm going to include the link below on this YouTube video. I absolutely recommend this. If you're someone who gets skeins of yarn that are, are twisted, you definitely need to go ahead and invest the extra you know, $40, I think it was total, which is 15 than my other one. But honestly, I'm really pleased with it. It doesn't, it seems like it's really strong. It has great integrity um, and it will last well over time uh, and not cause any mishaps. Again, link below. And if you have not yet, please subscribe. That helps us out so we can create more videos for you guys. Uh, comment with what you're interested in, whether it be alpacas, fiber, yarn. Uh, we have some exciting videos coming up in the future. I hope you have a wonderful day. Stay safe.